hi and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing a Tinker Crate for the month of March and I'm very excited to show you what this month's is. And so if you're new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like this that might be good supplements for your curriculum or to give you organizational ideas or curriculum ideas. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button below and let's open up this Tinker Crate. So this one says it's a phantom projector. Interesting. So build a theater in a box and discover the optics of ghostly illusions. So that sounds really exciting. It's interesting because last month was a camera, a camera obscura. And so this month sounds somewhat similar to that. So we'll see how it's different and how it's the same. So when we open it up, we have our little blueprints right here that are going to tell us how to make it. So this is probably sort of an image of what it's going to look like. So when you open these up, you can see all the instructions in here and they're always really good instructions. As long as my son reads them correctly, he does really good at doing these by himself, but sometimes he gets really excited <laughs> and doesn't read the instructions all the way. So we have our little booklet here, which again, I love this booklet. It comes with so many different activities and it is so great if you want to make this more into uh, like a week long curriculum or a couple weeks, you could talk about this. And this have, has a lot of great history and different projects and different things you can do to elaborate upon this crate. So it doesn't just have to be the project. So that's what some of these things are in here that you can see. So the vanishing pictures. So once I look through it, I can give you a little bit more feedback on that. But then we have everything that's gonna make our projector in this container. And we have this container that has a few little foam thing that has eyeballs in it. So I don't know what we're gonna use those for. And then we have some more camera stuff right here. And then there's some batteries and some little wire connectors it looks like in here. And some little pokey sticks. They're kind of like chopsticks, but not very thick. So, and then we have, whoa, we have some balls in here. So I don't know what these are gonna be used for. And that's what's in this crate this month. And I'm excited for my son to get, get into it and we can let you know how it goes. excited to show it to you. So this is what it looks like. If you remember, I can't even remember what it's called. It's a projector, a ghost something projector, phantom projector, that's what it's called. So we finished it and it's really hard to show a lot of the things it does on camera because you have to be able to look inside of here. But in here, there's the, okay, don't, 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 don't. there's a pink, the ping pong balls. There's an orange one and then a white one. And then when you close it, close it for us. It's Velcro, which is very convenient and nice. And then you'll look through this side part right here and you'll push a button down here and it makes it look like there's two balls in there. It's hard to explain. So you see the orange ball, but when you push the button, you can also see the white ball and it's a little phantom projection of the white ball. So I thought that was really cool. Ghost. When we first tried it, it wasn't working properly. So thankfully, they think of everything on here and it has all the troubleshooting. So I was looking at it and trying to figure it out. So the wires are one thing, the wires don't always stay super tight, so double check those. But then there is a, it's not a mirror, it's just see-through plastic, but it has sheets, like really thin, clear sheets on each side side and you need to take them off if you want it to work. So right here it tells you that to make sure if something's not working right, make sure you took those thin plastic sheets off because it won't work. 
So I thought this was really cool. It came with a lot of additional activities. So this is one of them. Again, it's really hard to show these things on camera. So the book is gonna be very helpful, but it does the vanishing picture. So it has a picture, the, it comes with some of them and then gives you extras you can draw your own. So there's one that has the hat and one that has the bunny. So when you put them inside the phantom projector and push the button on the back, it looks like the bunny is coming out of the hat. So that was really cool. And then Mazer created some of his own with different Pokemon, the sun. So if you write words, you just have to write them backwards. Otherwise they won't show up the right way in the projection. So those were a few of the cool things. Can you sit down and tell them what you thought, what was your favorite part? Ping pong ball playing games. <laughs> the ping pong balls, of course. <laughs> what do you think was the hardest part? Uh, the mirror. <laughs> the mirror, it's not, it's a clear plastic, right? And then something else that it comes with, this is really hard to see, but it's a little plastic, uh, I don't even know. <laughs> it looks like a cone you put on a dog's head, but clear. <laughs> That's what it looks like. And so it gives you this little, these apps you can look at, or they're more like YouTube videos, I guess, on here. So it gives you this little projection that you can look up on their website. And then if you place this plastic on your phone, so this is your phone, you place it in the middle, then it looks like these images on the sides right here are actually floating in the middle of this kind of like prism thing that they give you. It kind of reminds me of Beauty and the Beast and the flower floating. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It looks like a floating flower or whatever the image is. It's floating uh -huh. in the middle. How much longer? <laughs> How much longer? He's like, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> So I thought that was really cool. So I feel like there was a lot of really good extra projects to do with this projector and we had fun. Did you have fun? So if you're interested in seeing more unboxings like this, please give this video a thumbs up and we will see you next month. Da -da.